Hi. <laughs> cool. Uh, my name is Gibran, uh, which can be tough to pronounce. Doesn't bother me, could care less. What's interesting though, is a lot of times when I meet people and I say my name, I feel like they only hear what they're already expecting, right? Because <laughs> I'll meet someone and I'll be like, hi, my name's Gibran. And they'll be like, oh, nice to meet you, Muhammad. <laughs> I'll be like, what? How in the world did they get my middle name? That is amazing. <laughs> Are they psychic? I have no idea. <laughs> so this is my strategy. This is my new 2015 strategy. I'll meet someone, I'll be like, Jabron, it's like LeBron with a J, which sort of works sometimes. But I was talking to this girl, and I was like, Jabron, it's like LeBron with a J. She was like, oh, like Jumanji. <laughs> I was like, no. Not at all like Jumanji, that movie from the 90s. The only similarity is the J. If you're going to go with the name that starts with the J, why can't it be like, oh, like John Hammer, oh, like James Bond? She's like, well, it's hard to say James Bond when you look like Jafar. <laughs> I was like, no, this is not Jafar. This is Aladdin, all right? This is if Aladdin got cast to play Ross Geller on Friends. That is who this is. This is a whole new world. You guys are incredible. So I was actually born and raised in the South. I was born in North Carolina, grew up in Virginia, and now live in New York. Ethnically, I'm actually Pakistani and Afghani, which is suspicious, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> even the silence got quieter on that one. What if I just exploded right now? Okay, all right, Atlanta, take it easy. I'm predominantly Pakistani, identify as a Pakistani American, but people usually branch that country with surrounding countries. Like over the summer, I was in Texas. I did a festival in Texas. I got pulled over. The cop was writing my information down. For some reason, he had to ask what my ethnicity was, what my ethnic origin was. And he's looking at me. He looks at the clipboard, looks at me, and he's like, hey, where are you from? And I look back, and I'm like, oh, I'm from Pakistan. And he looks back at his clipboard confused. Then he looks at me confused. And he looks back at his clipboard, and he writes Indian. And I'm like, dude, I told you exactly what country I'm from. There was no need for the confusion at all. Like, you do it. He's like, dude, they're right next to each other. It's the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, but then that means you're Mexican. It's not exactly the same just because it's right next to each other. He's like, yeah, but if you went back to that area way, way back in time, way before all the borders and so and so, you would have just been referred to as Indian. And I'm like, yeah, but if you went back to America way, way back in time, way before all the borders and so and so, you would have also been referred to as Indian we would have both been considered Indian. <laughs> and then someone would have stolen your corn <laughs> and replaced it with a blanket. But not me, because I have spices. <laughs> he was like, yeah, but India is known for spices, not Pakistan. And I'm like, dude, they're right next to each other. It's the same thing. <laughs> Stop being so uptight. <laughs> Relax. Look, I just want people to be comfortable when they meet me, you know? Like, I don't want people to feel cautious, like they have to tippy-toe over what they're gonna say next, because that's when things backfire, right? So I moved to New York a little while ago. I have, I have a nine to five, I work in psychology. I was running late to work one morning, right? And asked this lady on the street what time it is, right? She looked at her watch, she said 9-11. Then she looked at me. <laughs> and I swear to God, she was like, no offense, though. <laughs> and I'm like, what? No offense? That's all you had to not say to not make it offensive. That's literally the only two things you could have said to make it offensive. What the fuck? At that point, she proceeds to show me her watch to prove that she didn't make up the time. Like, that was the issue. Like, it was a prank, a terror prank, if you will. I'm like, what are you talking? I look at the watch. It's an analog watch, meaning there are hands on the watch. The hour hand is slightly below the nine. The minute hand is on the 11, which meant the time was 8.55. I'm like, why would you say that? She was like, never forget. And I'm like, no, you're making this so much more worse than it needs to be. I don't kind of race this douchebag. You're actually like, hey, don't say douchebag. That's an offensive term. I'm like, you can't tell me what's offensive anymore. I can't argue about this. I'm late for work. She's like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, actually, I do therapy with people who are intellectually challenged. No offense, though. <laughs> she was like, I can't believe you said that. I was like, yeah, well, never forget, so. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Jabron Salim. You guys have been amazing.